Gather up all your important documents because we headed to a giant paperclip this weekend. What? It's not that kind of paperclip? Right, I'm Kim Kuhn. This is Rearview Mirror. This weekend, both the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series and the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series headed to Martinsville, Virginia for some playoff action short track style. Saturday afternoon, the Truck Series kicked things off with a little beating and banging. Playoff contender John Hunter Nemechek got knocked out early, then Christopher Bell went for a spin after tangling with Matt Crafton. But at the end of the day, it would be 19-year-old series rookie Noah Gregson who would hold off two series champs and earn his first career win. While it was not the first win for truck owner Kyle Busch, it did kick off the start to a pretty solid weekend. But more on that later. Right now, it's time for the memorable moment of the week. The bumper to the back of the 24! Right, Elliott right. goes around, Hamlin takes the lead and the caution comes out. The checkered flag came out, going down the back stretch. You see the 24 showing his displeasure and how he was raced by Denny Hamlin. Now you're seeing it. 24 and the 11 having a difference. You can hear the crowd. Everybody wrecked everyone there at the end. It was complete, you know, bull chaos and just. Well, he didn't make the corner because I had his back end jacked up, that's for sure. I wanted to see the replay, that's what I thought happened, and that's what happened, and um, it's definitely 100% unnecessary and uncalled for. My mom always said, don't say nothing, you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, so he's not even worth my time. We're going to go on to Texas. So I guess Chase is still a bridesmaid, an angry bridesmaid, but let's rewind a little bit. Chase Elliott and Brad Keselowski were the class of the field on Sunday, with Kess winning the first two stages and Chase leading 123 laps. Kyle Busch was also pretty solid, but we'll get to him. I promise. Elliott and Kess traded jabs on the track, and then Chase proved the age-old adage that eight tires are better than four and moved Kez out of the way to take the lead with only a few laps to go. Denny Hamlin made the move we referenced earlier, sending Chase around, which set up NASCAR overtime. And over time, with a trip to Homestead on the line, there is no such thing as a teammate. So when Kyle Busch lined up beside Denny Hamlin for the final restart, you knew sparks were going to fly. Busch leaned on Hamlin in the turn, sending Denny up the track. KB held off a charge from Martin Trucks Jr. to claim another Martinsville clock. Meanwhile, Denny Hamlin and several other drivers created a parking lot on the front stretch. But more importantly, Kyle Busch has locked himself into the race for a championship at Homestead. Like that. Oh, yeah! We're going to Homestead! Well, that wasn't Kyle, but you get the sentiment. Tune in next week as we head to the Lone Star State and get one step closer to crowning our 2017 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion.